Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Windows update error code that is 0x800703f1. So if you are unable to update your Windows 11 because of this error code, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. And over here, you can see app readiness service, make a double click and then set it to automatic. Click on apply and then click on start if highlighted. So if start is highlighted, click on start and then click on OK and then you can check. Still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can open file explorer and then go to this PC, open C drive and then here you can see win re agent folder. If you don't see this folder on the top, click on view, select show and then put a check on hidden items. You should be able to see Winari agent folder. If you don't see this folder, you can skip this step, follow the next step. But if you see it, just create a backup first. So you can copy this file and you can create a backup. You can move the file somewhere. Once you have a backup, now you can delete this folder and then you can update your Windows. And then once the update is complete and then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can, if you want, you can put the folder back to the C drive. Now, still you are unable to update, then please follow rest of the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to run update troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings, click on system, and then scroll down, click on troubleshoot. Now, click on other troubleshooters. Now over here, you can see Windows update in front of it. You can see the run option, click on run. And once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then update your Windows 11 once again. Now the next step is to restart Windows update and background intelligent transfer service. For this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find Windows update in the list. Make a double click on Windows update and then Make sure startup type is set to automatic. So set it to automatic and then click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With Windows update selected over here, click on restart the service. Now once done, find background intelligent transfer service and then make a double click on background intelligent transfer service and set it to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now again with this selected over here, click on restart the service. Now once done, now try to update your Windows 11 once again. Now still you are unable to update, in that case use Windows 11 installation assistant for this. Copy this link, the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now. Now run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 installation assistant. Now if there is any pending update, you will see the option to install the update. So if you see the update or install option, click on it and then update your Windows 11. Now if Windows 11 installation assistant is not opening. In that case, you can go to download location, go to downloads and then make a right click on Windows 11 installation assistant, then select properties. Now go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for and select Windows 7 from the list and then click on apply, click on OK and then Make a double click and then open Windows 11 installation assistant and then update your Windows 11. Now the next step is to use Microsoft update catalog. So for this copy this link, the link is provided in the video description. Now once you open this Microsoft catalog website, now enter the name of the update which is giving you any kind of error message or if you are unable to install this update. So this is just an example. So whichever update is giving you the error message, whichever update you are unable to install, write down the name of the update over here and then click on search. Now over here, you will see update for Windows 11. My system is x64 based system. You can check this in settings. If you go to system and if you click on about, 
over here you can see x64 bit so i have x64 bit system so click on download in front of it click on over here this will open this screen and then click on this hyperlink and this will start downloading that particular update now when you click on it if nothing happens in that case make a right click over here and then click on save link as and then you can set the location as desktop and then click on save now it will start downloading that particular update so over here you can see it's downloading that particular update once the download is complete you can open this file you can click on it you can run this file and install the update using microsoft update catalog now still you are facing the problem in that case you can reset windows update components for this copy all these commands these commands are provided in the video description so copy till here and then open notepad on your computer and then paste all the command in notepad now go to file then click on save as and then set the location as desktop name this file as wufix.bat and then for save as type select all files and then click on save now go to desktop over here you can see wufix file make a right click then click on run as administrator make sure that you're opening this file as an administrator click on yes to allow now this will open command prompt and first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans now there are a couple of scans so the scan will take some time once the scan is complete it will restart all the windows update services and then it will close this command prompt automatically this will close and once the process is complete make sure that you restart your computer and after the system restart update your windows 11 once again now the last step is to use media creation tool so if nothing is working you can use media creation tool to update your windows 11 go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of this error and you should you should be able to update your windows 11 successfully so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel